I want to say welcome back to Jean Jean's Kitchen. And today, I will be making a pineapple pound cake. And let me show you my ingredients. I have one cup of crushed pineapple. Three cups of flour. Six eggs. Three cups of sugar. And one cup of granola oil. And one teaspoon of vanilla extract. And over here, I, this is the crushed pineapple I'm using, though. And in my glaze, I will be using pineapple juice and cornstarch. And the flour I use is white lily flour and domino sugar. And this is my pan. And I'll be spraying it with Baker's Joy. Let's get the ball game rolling. First, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my, I'm going to combine my oil and my sugar. I hope everyone is doing well out there in YouTube land today. Here's a little rainy. We have rainy weather, but all week we had beautiful weather. It was up in the 80s. And thank you so much for tuning in and sharing my video, liking my video. I just want to thank you all for all that you do for Jean's Jean's Kitchen. Make sure my volume is turned up. So let's start with my sugar. Put in my sugar. Then I'm going to do my oil. Let me lock it in first. Locking in everything. Make sure I got all my oil in. And I'm going to combine it very well. Start off kind of slow. Combine it like about. I think I'm gonna keep mixing it about. Let me get it five minutes. This here is the old recipe. Sometimes you have to stop and um, clean off the sugar, make sure the sugar is combining well. And after I combine this, what I'm going to do is add my eggs one at a time, my six eggs. Break the bowl down. You have to keep the bowl straight because you want it straight down because you want to make sure that your sugar and your oil is combining well. Normally, I usually use my uh, fork, my butter. I'm salted or salted butter, but this time I'm using my oil. And I forgot I've been using vanilla extract, one teaspoon. This can be a quick recipe because I like doing quick recipes. Uh, it's going to be a quick cake because of the fat. I'm trying to look out for the ones out there that just starting out cooking or baking or whatever. And I don't want to make it long for them. And also easier for me to do as well. Thank you. 
do five minutes if you don't want to because it's not butter, it's all that you uh, combine it with the sugar. But I want to make sure it's, it's mixing well. now is adding my egg one at a time. That's egg one. Egg two. They begin to come together, guys. Look at here. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was so nevertheless it's still gonna work out What I did was with my flour mixture, I added my baking powder and my salt. I did a pinch of salt and I sifted it together. So I won't have to do it uh, while I'm um, make, bake, uh, mixing my cake. It'll be already done. Save time. And what I'm going to get ready to do now is paper towel to put my thing on so it won't make a mess. sugar and all. Don't want to leave no uh, sugar stuck at the bottom. And oh, I have my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I'm going to get ready to put in my flour mix. No fit on my other one. Yeah. 
Gradually add it in slowly. Put it at a time. new mix I have another mix a blender that my that was given to me for critical You don't alternate it with anything. You just do it. Find everything. And next, what I'm going to do is I already did the flour and I'm going to add my vanilla extract and my crushed pineapple. I'm going to take this top off while I'm doing that. You get ready, guys. I'm going to get ready to stir in my pineapple. In my vanilla extract. I think this is enough beating. I'm going to stir that in. I'm not going to beat anymore. Put in my vanilla extract. Just enough beating. Smells good already. Wow. At the bottom. You can do it the way you want to. Just, just this is just a general idea. You want to beat yours a little longer. The longer you don't overbeat the mixture. Cause you don't you don't want to, you want it to be able to rise. And you just one good mix, mix it. and I'm done. Okay, let me oil down my pan with Baker's jar. Spray down my pan. This baker's jar has flour mixture mixed in with it. Spray it down good so your pan won't, so your cake won't stick.
Yes, I would be making a glaze for this cake. This is the first time I made a um, pineapple cake. Pour it on in there. And I like it because it's not, it's not a very thick batter. See how it's turning out. Most of the time, first time cake always do well with me. and errors. Okay. Shake it. Our bubbles. I'm going to bake it for one hour and 25 minutes. One hour and 25 minutes in 350 degree oven. See? Can you see it? I don't think you'd be able to follow me over, but I try anyway. Give it a pop it in the oven. Here we go. See, it's in the oven. Be back later. Oh, I just want to say I don't I couldn't remember if I told you or not, but um I used three four cup of the crushed pineapple. It was undrained. And I use all-purpose flour, white lily, all-purpose flour. I just want to address that just in case I missed it in my video, okay? Hi, everyone. I am back, and I'm getting ready to make my pineapple glaze for my pineapple pound cake. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two tablespoons of sugar and one and one half teaspoons of cornstarch and one half cup of pineapple juice. So I have my half a cup of pineapple juice. So I'm gonna put in my sugar, my two, my two tablespoons of sugar. I'm ready to put this in the, just have to cook over the stove. And it, my cake, it took an hour and about an hour and 10 minutes. It didn't take, a, it didn't take an hour and 25. It was about an hour and 10 minutes. Okay. It's my two tablespoons of sugar. And, and I'm uh, going to combine my sugar and cornstarch. And I'm going to take one and one half teaspoons of cornstarch. Here's the cornstarch. I'll go. One and one half teaspoon. This is one teaspoon. Get ready to put in. This is one.
and one half. This is a half. I'm going to get ready to add my juice, my pineapple juice. Let's stir it in well. I'm going to get ready to put it over the stove. This is the outcome. See my pineapple pancake? It came out beautiful for the first time. I have to let the glaze cool. So I'm trying to thicken it. It's going to make about one half cup. It smells good. It has thickened. I think it's thickened enough. I'm going to let it cool. And when you let it cool, it's going to thicken more. So I think this about it. So it's translucent and it's thickened. See what this looks like? See, it has thick and translucent. And it's gonna cool when it cool, it's gonna thicken more, and then I'll be able to glaze the cake. It only make one half cup. And I'm I'm getting ready to glaze my cake. Look how my glaze turned out. It is beautiful. Can you see it? So I'm gonna get ready to pour it over it. Want some on the inside. And like I was saying, this is my first time making this uh, pineapple pound cake. And it turned out great. Could have made more glaze, but half a cup is enough. Don't want too much sugary stuff. This is my pound, my pineapple pound cake. Isn't it beautiful? I'm going to give you a slice. Ah. Ah. Isn't it beautiful? Pineapple pound cake. Thank you, Father, for this cake. Mmm. Mmm. It is so moist. Oh, my goodness. Mmm. Look how it's sticking to the fork. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. It is really delicious. Nice and more. Mm. Come over and get your slice. You are most welcome. I thank you all for tuning in. 
don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My Bible tell me ask and it shall be given unto you. So I'm asking, please subscribe, comment, like, share. And when you subscribe, your notification, the bell will ring, let you know. And I thank you so very, very much. And as always, I love you all out there in the YouTube land. 